Hi 31,000 guys, what's up? It's me, Webs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can set up a navigation drawer further continuing from what we did in the last video. Now, at the end of this video, you will not see something awesome, but you will see what are the different steps that we are going to follow. That means we are going to create our layout for the fragment that is our navigation drawer fragment. We are going to create the fragment class. We are going to create our main activity and have the fragment instance inside the main activity and we are going to pass certain data. So let's take a look at all these things in this video. So our main content right now is represented with the help of this relative layout. Now if you want to add your drawer view or drawer layout, that's the second item which is going to be your layout for the navigation drawer. What we will do best is to actually make it in a separate layout file and then add it over here as a fragment let's try that so we go here to the package we simply make a new fragment at this point we can go here simply say fragment now remember at the time of making this video i don't have the direct option of creating the navigation drawer fragment from the templates available out here which is why i'm making it from scratch but at the time that you're watching this video you probably have that option and you can simply go here maybe to activity fragment you must be having the navigation drawer fragment in your options somewhere here there you go that activity navigation drawer activity this is what you want to create directly if you want to have navigation drawer inside your app but at this time i don't have it so i'll go and simply make a blank fragment here and i'll call it says create the layout file of this fragment underscore navigation drawer include interface callbacks i don't need those two out there so i'm going to simply hit finish at this point and i'm going to let the template do the work of creating things so at this point we have our fragment created and we also have our fragment navigation drawer available over here now inside this now this layout that we have completely represents this part which is the green colored box that you see here whatever you add here inside this layout file is going to be part of the navigation drawer so the first thing that we want to do here is add our recycler view to display a list of items as you know very well the list view is good but the recycler view is better so let's go up here and change the frame layout to something else like relative layout again and instead of adding the recycler view now i'll just stall this for now because i want to first help you guys understand how the navigation drawer basic setup happens because if i add a recycler view here i'll have to create a lot of things in code and you guys are going to get confused as to exactly what is happening so let's go back to our activity underscore main.xml. We can directly link that here using the fragment tag that we have. Basically, say fragment here. The width should be match parent. Oops, the width is not match parent. Rather, it is the width that we talked about in the navigation drawer width calculations. To be 280 DP here, you need to put this inside a dimensions.xml file because your app will be running on tablets and phones and the width changes in both places. Let me do that as well. But first let's give it a height. The height is going to be match parent here in this case. And of course the layout for this fragment is going to come from Android layout here. So I'll use the app layout tag here to simply link this file here. Which is the, the fragment navigation drawer that we have. So in other words I can directly go here and I can say layout slash fragment navigation drawer here. And of course we need to add the namespace app in our code. Just press or enter. And you should see this which says XMLNS app here equals to blah blah blah. So go down here and now set the layout gravity that we want. Of course, it's not available standard. We have to again add it by simply saying Android layout gravity. So now at this point, it is just a rendering problem here. It says a fragment tag allows a layout file to dynamically include different layouts at runtime. And it says that you can select which layout you want to show. So let's say choose fragment class here. And we can select our navigation drawer fragment here and we can just click OK. And then it's going to say use layout at the rate fragment underscore navigation drawer here. And then at this point, that error is gone. Now, if you notice this image here that we have, you will notice that this area is clickable here on the left side. I have specified an Android layout gravity of start to indicate that this part is going to be here at the edge of the screen on the left side over here. And if you see when the app starts, when you swipe the screen from left to right, this part here is going to slide inside, which is how you see the navigation drawer in action. Also, let's change this daemon value and put it there right inside our diamonds.xml file here. We can call this nav drawer width. Now, notice something very carefully about the area that can be selected. When you select this patch, it shows the relative layout here and when you select this patch it shows the fragment here 
representing the navigation drawer content. Now think about it. When the navigation drawer is called or pulled from left to right, this complete patch is going to overlap on top of this patch, which means the toolbar is going to be hidden behind the navigation drawer when this thing is moved in. Of course, I will show that in action as we go further in this uh, navigation drawer building stuff. But for now, if you want to really think about it the hard way, if you want to have the toolbar above the navigation drawer not overlapping the toolbar, then you need to have it outside the drawer layout, which of course we'll discuss as we proceed further. For now, let's go back to fragment navigation drawer and do some setup work that we need to do here to make things work. First, let's get an overall picture of the steps that we need to do to set up a navigation drawer. One is Add a drawer layout with two children, which we have already done inside our activity underscore main.xml. Then, if you see, we have to initialize the drawer layout in code, and then we have to create an instance of action bar drawer toggle. Now, this action bar drawer toggle, if you take a look at it, it's basically an implementation, or you can say a subclass of your drawer listener out there. Now, we will take a look at that. Here, you need to specify the activity where you want to display the navigation drawer. The drawer layout object from your XML file that is to be monitored. The toolbar whose icon you're gonna switch when the drawer opens or closes. The strings for opening and closing actions. Other than that, all you need to do is invalidate the options menu when the drawer is opened and invalidate the options menu again when the drawer is closed to indicate changes, if any. And we'll take a look at these steps in detail. So, here inside my activity underscore main.xml. I already have my two children, the first one being the relative layout, the second one being our fragment. All I need to do is give it an ID, which I have already given here. Then if you go to main activity, the next thing that we need to do is create an object of this fragment. Now at this point, all we got to do is go down here and say drawer fragment dot setup. Now of course, there is no such method defined inside the drawer fragment, which means we need to go and define it. And why are we doing, doing this method out here? Because we need to pass the toolbar and we need to pass a couple of other things from our activity to our navigation drawer. So let's go here and let's go here actually down and we can simply make a method from here I believe. We can say create method setup here and inside our navigation drawer fragment there's public void setup. Now inside this we can pass certain things like the drawer layout itself. We can simply say drawer layout here. The other thing that we need is obviously going to be the toolbar widget here. We're gonna Pass that by simply saying toolbar and we can go back to our main activity here and we can call setup with appropriate controls now if you remember the activity underscore main.xml has the drawer layout whose ID oops I've not given any ID here so let's go first and give it an ID here by simply saying ID drawer layout here now we can go to main activity and pass pass the first parameter as find a view by ID r dot ID dot drawer layout and of course we need to typecast it in other words, we are directly passing that object and creating it inside the parameter itself here. The second object that we need to pass is the toolbar that we have here. And we can do that. Of course, we need to import the draw layout class here. And with this, the setup is basically complete. Now, going back to our navigation drawer fragment here, like I said, we are going to need a reference of action bar drawer toggle. Let's take a look at what it is first. Here it says action bar drawer toggle provides a handy way to tie together the functionality of a drawer layout and the action bar to implement the recommended design. Of, of course, that includes the toolbar as well. And there are two methods that you need to handle that is on configuration changed and on options item selected. It says called sync state, which we'll take a look at why shortly. But most importantly, you have to notice one thing here action bar drawer toggle implements the drawer layout dot drawer listener if you remember it had the methods like on drawer opened on drawer closed in other words you're basically using the action bar drawer toggle to tie your activity with the navigation drawer and the toolbar icon together so that all three of them work together when you switch the toolbar in or out and of course it says you can customize the animated toggle by defining the drawer arrow style in your action bar theme never mind i think that's kind of deprecated Let's go down and take a look at the constructor here where it says action bar drawer toggle takes all these parameters. Take a look, there are two of them. There's one of them without a toolbar and there's one of them with the toolbar. Now, this is the one which you must be using now 
ever since Lollipop rolled out. So here if you take a look at it, it says activity, drawer layout, the second parameter, toolbar, the third, and there are two integers which are basically strings. It says construct a new action bar. Okay, the given activity will be linked to the specified drawer layout. The drawer layout in our case is from the XML file. The activity in our case is going to be nothing but a reference to the main activity. And then the toolbar navigation icon will be set to a custom drawable, of course. Now that's the reason why we need the toolbar object here. And it says using the constructor to set the toolbars navigations on click listener to toggle the drawer when it is clicked. Of course, it says the drawer, this drawer shows a hamburger icon when the drawer is closed and the arrow when the drawer is open. And of course, we will take a look at this when we make the, the navigation drawer completely and it animates between the two states as the drawer opens. Now, string resources must be provided to describe the open close actions for accessibility. In other words, we'll have to go into our strings.xml and make two strings out here. So we can go here simply and we can say drawer open and drawer close. So open and close, I've written them out here, drawer underscore open and drawer underscore close. To go back to our navigation drawer fragment, here we will make an object of the action bar drawer toggle, which is Android will support v 7 action bar drawer toggle. We simply call that object as drawer toggle here. And we need to have an object of your drawer layout as well. First, let's rename this to the syntax which everyone follows in Android. We'll say M drawer toggle, the way everyone writes. Then we'll go down and we'll have our drawer layout again, which is gonna be M drawer layout. So we can go to the setup method here and we can simply say M drawer layout equals to drawer layout to store the object that we passed from the main activity. And now we can initialize the drawer toggle. Let's see how that's done. We can say M drawer toggle is new action bar drawer toggle out here. And that's going to need a lot of parameters as you guys can see it says activity. So how do we get the activity? Very simple. We can say get activity here. Second thing it needs is a drawer layout. We can pass that here. The third thing it needs is the toolbar which again we sent from our activity. The third, fourth thing it requires is the strings that we were talking about. We can simply go and say R dot string dot drawer open and r dot string dot drawer close now most importantly we need to override two or three methods inside this so let's go and open our brackets here and we can simply have the methods which is on drawer opened on drawer closed which we need to override and don't forget to set this listener most importantly go down here say m drawer layout dot set drawer listener and that's gonna be your m drawer toggle out here so this is getting kind of long so let's stop here in the next video we will take a look at certain things like did the user open the drawer before is it the first time the user is seeing the app so should the drawer be displayed and how to configure whether the drawer was opened and what to do when the drawer was closed and other little things like that. So in the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.